movie. Well, for you to understand that, Darwin has made a map for us. Do you see that red dot blinking there? That is exactly where we are. Somewhere on the outside of the head. Whoa. Can you now guess where we are headed? That is correct. I thought for you to make a robot that looks just like a human being or that functions just like a human being, it's best for you to understand how the sense organs work. Well, the ear is one of the sense organs, and that is what I thought we will start off with. Whoa, the sense organs. Yes, that's correct. I know we're in the ear, but where exactly are we? Well, we are traveling through the ear canal. That is some part of the outer ear. Wait, outer ear. Does that mean that we have more than one kind of ear? No, no, of course not. You see, for our convenience to understand the human ear, we actually studied in three parts: the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. These things, the flaps of the ear. along with the tube up ahead together form the outer ear as you can see here now let's start moving now we will have to name each of these parts right the flaps are called the pinna and the tube is called the ear canal the pinna actually helps directing the sound from the outside into the ear canal yuck what is that Is that supposed to be a part of the ear? Yes, that is a part of the ear. This is ear wax. And oh, it is very 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 important for our ears. Oh, so this is wax. But how could this sticky thing be of any importance at all? I always clean my ears off this wax. Well, the wax protects the skin of our ear canal from bacteria and fungi by forming a layer on top of the skin in the canal and thus preventing bacteria and fungi from growing there. So, in effect, wax protects us from being infected by bacteria and fungi. And by the way, the small little hair that you see out there that stops insects and other external objects from entering the ear. Whoa, there's so much more to this disgusting thing. I never thought about that. Good thing we've passed that. But we've reached a dead end. Can we go forward? Of course we can go forward. This is a smart ship. We can do anything that we please. We can just jump across to the other side whenever we feel like it. But before we move to that side, do you see this particular thing? that is the eardrum the whole eardrum and some parts behind it that you can see here form the middle ear that doesn't look like a drum set at all that's true but think of the surface of drums our eardrum works in the same way essentially i need the ear to hear some sound for me to explain this further let's see i'll turn on the alarm in the lab darwin Well now the ear drums are vibrating very much like the drum surface the ear drum is a thin stretched piece of skin and when the stick hits the drum the drum surface starts to vibrate right similarly when the sound hits the surface of the ear drum the ear drum surface starts to vibrate this vibration is actually what you perceive as sound If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now